Trixon ZX4 iron. So set of irons, hollow body construction, face forged, it says on them. Let's see what these are about. Uh, the lofts look quite strong. I imagine they're gonna be low spinning, but then we do get this juxtaposition in the fact that they look, this is the wedge, like not crazily power batty. So are we getting a nice blend of appearance with, they call it tech, I would call it loft, and then in turn maybe launch, help, or are they just another set of power bets that everyone's gonna pretend they're in the ball further? We're actually there just sitting in six iron rather than a seven iron. So starting with the wedge, plenty of face down by the ball. Again, it's not a massive chunky head, but we do see plenty of face down by the ball. You know, you're gonna get some kind of inspirational ideas in the looks of this one. Sound is nice, but it does sound hollow bodied. You know, you do get a bit of a clip, but like the lines are smooth and not crazy offset, but there is plenty of face down there. Mm. Hit another one, that sounded better. Didn't sound as clippy. First one maybe a bit off more off the bottom. Now, I'm instantly seeing the numbers I'm getting on this are, um, oi, 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 oi. We've got some powerful bats in our hand. Yeah, it's, it's a nice sound for a power bat, to be fair. It's like, it's not gonna feel as soft as the Z Forged and the ZX5 or the ZX7, but like you, there is an element of hollowness sounding to it, but it's nowhere near, you know, your real power bats can get with the old tinginess. So I'm just gonna hit one more. I mean, this wedge, I think there, and I'm just hitting that like nicely. I could hit that harder. How far is that carrying? We're gonna show the numbers. That's like a 150, that's a 144 carry with a wedge. And I think this is where the cell is here. And it's something I'm still experimenting with, with videos. Like this is a wedge 150. If I give it some, yeah, 147 straight. And there's plenty of height landing on the line, plenty of height in that. I mean, there's a part of me that wants to game these just for the fun of playing in vlogs and saying, what do you do there, Mark? 150 out, wedge. Now we've got my ZX5, the one I game, so medium cavity back compared to the four here. So you can see mine is a nicer shape, fraction less offsets in appearance, definitely thinner top lines. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna present the, number on, the numbers on both of these clubs, just to show you where your distance is coming from because i think it's a, an interesting comparison and then you can choose if it's something that could help your game or not because certainly as we come down in the loft you might find there are some benefits so if we start with the zx4 7 iron to kick us off again plenty of face bit more offset i see a fraction of the club out the back down at the bottom so we are definitely going into the chunky rounds and I'm expecting to see some quite different carries going on here. So that's a 92 mile an hour. Seven iron, which is like my faster point of seven irons. Is that a seven iron? That's a seven iron. And it is, it's again like the wedge. It's a lovely sound for what it is. It's definitely not as soft and forged feeling as what you would expect a forge club to feel like. Obviously this is a forged face. It, it's, it's got a click, it's got that hollow body sound stroke feel. But we've also got some woohoo numbers on the old seven iron, which we'll show you in a second. One more for the feel. A little bit cutty, but like there's, there's, I'm tempted to play with something like this for the fun. And I'm still in and out of strokes gains and I've done videos loads and we'll do more on the ideas of sacrificing spin for distance, but then hopefully maintaining peak heights for land angles and those kind of things, which like I, I, I literally don't feel there is an advantage, but the fun of being able to say, what, 200 yards, seven iron. Like it's so tempted. I can see why everyone's tempted. And if I could just compare that to my ZX-5, so instantly this is like what I'm used to like looking at. It looks smaller. I'm staring at more loft. It doesn't, I mean, I'm not gonna get this carry 195 at all. You know, my seven iron at the minute is like a 170, 175 club. And that swung at 91.8 miles an hour, so pretty much similar. And that's carrying 173. As I collect a bit more data with my two seven irons to present to you, why don't we go and have a look at the tech? And all these companies call it tech. Is it really not just loft? 
So the ZX4 Strixen are saying it's their best combination of game improvement with profile sleek looks, which is definitely something that kind of bled through at the start of the looks and feel section there. So these irons feature the main frame face. So we've got variable face thickness on each iron head. So milled into the back of it are ridges and shapes to try and help you keep those ball speeds where they want them to be. They have a forged steel face, which is both light and strong. Again, trying to keep ball speeds up in a steel frame that's trying to absorb the impact so they don't get too kind of game improvement clippy. And we also get the hollow body design with tungsten weights in the end to try and again, keep that feel of stability as well as ball speed and launch in place to try and make sure that you are getting the most out of your irons is what they say. We get the unique VT Tor sole that we see in all the tricks and irons for turf control. And we also get a progressive groove shape going from the long irons through the short irons as you try to cut through some different ideas in the grass with the maybe more lofted clubs, getting a bit more debris away, trying to sustain spin in all the situations, which you'll never do. Golf's brilliant. Spin's gonna be your enemy at certain times, but they're doing their most to try and sustain it. Right, before we look at the 27 iron numbers, I'm just gonna hit a couple with the five as well to see if there's the patterns of feels and what have you cross over, see more of the back of the club at the back. You know, this looks like, to me, a driving iron more and it is that hollow body sound still it kind of transitions through it's clippy it's you know that's like a driving iron sound and that's going like a hybrid Woohoo! carry me up there fortunately i'm going for head speed stroke ball speed ball speeds jump which will show you but it's not me <laughs> It's, it's not jumping for the appropriate loft is the, is the problem. So actually, am I gaining anything? Uh, let's check out the numbers to show you where this distance really is coming from. So if we look at the ZX4 and I've compared it up to my ZX5 7 iron to see if it's something that could step. Now what we're seeing is as expected, look how much further the ZX4 is going, 182 to 169, you can see it from the dispersion up here. It's actually, funnily enough, left and right tight dispersion, short and long not. So you could almost argue the dispersion of those two are identical, subject to if you want to control this way or short and long differently, you might opt for different in those. We see a massive reduction in the spin, big jump in the ball speed, and if you look at that, club head speed's identical, 0.2 of a mile an hour, but here it is, look, look at that, 22 degrees delivered loft with the ZX4, granted a fraction lower strikes, but that's 23 at best, and 27 with my ZX5. I mean, they're just, this is the dynamic loft I present with a six iron. This is a shorter to a six iron distance. So they're strong lofted power bats like we've seen from every manufacturer. So the question is, when do you fall off the mountain of launch and distance? A seven iron, obviously I can get what I need out of it, but I don't have a five iron. I go for uber, uber chunky in my five iron where this set possibly, if I didn't want something looking so crazy big, might push me into something that blends now with my six. So if you're falling off the, the, the cliff of launch and spin, and your clubs are bunching up when you get to like seven iron, six iron, five iron, that's now where this power bat might play its role. Throughout the set, ooh, you'd have to try. I mean, they're strong lofted. It's going like a six iron, isn't it? So let's continue that idea of where you fall off your mounting of launch and things like that. So for me, I stop at a seven iron and then go to really chunky six irons and my six iron then bridges to my hybrids. So I've got the five iron here. Let's try the five iron in the ZX4. If we do the maths, so I was carrying my seven iron there around 170. So a six iron is gonna be around 180 and a five iron is gonna be around 190. Now I want my five iron really to carry around 200. That's what my six iron, which is a six and five iron does at the minute. It carries from 180 up to 200. So, cause I'm falling off my mountain of lawn. So in theory now this club should help me if I wanted to hit that 200 yard number on the fly, this might do it. Where the ZX5 five iron might just be like, it'll be a top end for me, which would be a problem because I'm gonna have a little bit of a gap maybe at my top end. So let's have a little play. I've got a green set out there at 200. Do you reckon I can carry this five iron 200 yards? So that's just me hitting like a decent one. I'm not trying to kill that and that's gonna land, yeah. 
So look, that's easily landing there. That was carrying 199. Again, let's see if it's something I can repeat. A little bit drawy, but again, it's comfortable. I mean, that's actually now landing at the back of the green. So let's try the same ideas. I'm gonna just slightly cut this one. So I've got plenty of club for 200. So I'm going for like the high floating cut and there you go, look, 200 nicely. I mean, this club's never gonna, it's gonna struggle to get into my bag because I'm such a happy hybrid player. But if you are that kind of iron player and where so many people focus, I've done videos on this on wedge games. Actually, I've reduced my wedges from four down to two and I've top heavied my bag because you, the stats show the majority of people watching this video, your long approach shots, that's a pretty average hit look. Let's see how that one does. Low heel, yeah, and that's landing on the front and rolling up. Long approaches, whatever they are for you. So for like, let's say around 200 yards, but if you're someone who it's a seven and a hundred yards, it's gonna be like your long approaches of 150. So relative to you, when you start getting down to 22 degrees of dynamic loft delivered, these are the numbers that really cost your game. So not having your bag fit at this end, actually I think is a real cheap giveaway. So many people focus on getting you to concentrate on having lots of wedges, which I understand if that works your game, that's great. But to be fair, if you have more weapons up in the approach play, you might actually find your scores come down. So if there wasn't hybrids, this club definitely is hitting my 200 yard placement. So I feel like I could make this a five, a four and a three iron. Just out of fun, let's see if I can, let's move the green. We're 218 now to the flag, which is now that's like my 22 hybrid. So would it blend with that? So obviously for my bag exactly, I've hit that good. Now is that gonna reach? Yeah, front edge. So I use this as my six iron, but if I didn't wanna use that and I wanted a gentler blend, I would use this six iron, which you could see was stronger. Uh, well, if the seven iron, if it moves up with the seven in steps, it's going to do that job, isn't it? It's just this one gives me, for me, I feel a fraction more launch. So that was a 208 carry. But if you're someone who just can't look at hybrid, you know, you just, you want irons. I do think when you start getting into the power bat market, there's uh, gains to be had. All that happens sometimes is you have to end up doing what I did, which is have like two six irons and things like that to blend, which isn't a problem. I actually think it's quite funny. Right, can I land this up to pin high? Oh, not it like that, I can't. 95 miles an hour speed, short right. The most common of misses from the 200 yard range. All right, one more. So I think they're just, you know, you, you've got some powerful low spinning, well, low lofted, they're spinning correctly for the loft, like they all do in all manufacturers. It's just a power bat and you need to decide if that's gonna help you or not. I think for lots of people, it helps in the top end, bottom end, mm, it's debatable. Oh, not my fastest. Oh, no, not at five miles an hour. Are you landing the green? Oh, yes. So I'm easily getting that from 200. That's flying 216-ish, 214, I think, yeah, 213. And I was carrying it 190 to 200, easily moving that around. So it's very gameable. As powerful irons go, they definitely look nicer. You know, the lines on them are much more classic in that hollow body idea. But don't be fooled, you are getting low spinning relative to the loft kind of game. Um, again, this is where this is so fun. Try not to get fixated on this, but understand more what you're delivering and how, if you understand what you're delivering, it can really help when you start falling off the mountain of launch. Let me know if this helps. Comment down below.